A prime number is a number which has only two factors, itself and one. One is not a prime number because it only has one factor, that's itself. The only factor of one is one and a prime number always has two factors. The first four prime numbers are two, three, five and seven. So why is four not a prime number? Well, that's because it has three factors. Four is in the one, two and four times tables. So because it has more than two factors, it's not a prime number. So why is five a prime number? That's because it only has two factors. It's only in the one and the five times tables not in any other times tables. So why is six not a prime number? That's because it has four factors. One, two, three and six are all factors of six because one times six is six but also two times three is six and that's why it's not a prime number. So why is seven a prime number? That's because it only has two factors. Seven is only in the one times table and the seven times table, so that's why it's a prime number. To find out if a number is a prime number, you can find out if it is a multiple of one of the first four prime numbers, which remember are two, three, five and seven. If it is a multiple of either 2, 3, 5 or 7, then it is not a prime number. A composite number is any number that is not a prime number. So, let's have a look at our hundred square. First, apart from the number 2, all other multiples of 2, so all other numbers that end in a 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0 are composite numbers. 2 only has two factors, itself and 1, but all the other numbers are factors of 2 as well as themselves and 1, so these are composite numbers. And it's important to understand the 2 times table does not stop at 12 times 2 is 24. Even though if you've learnt your times tables up to 12 times 12, you'll know that 26 isn't the answer to any of those times tables that you've learned. 26 is still in the 2 times table because 13 times 2 is 26. So we know that these numbers that are shaded blue are composite numbers. Now, apart from the number 3, all multiples of 3 are also composite numbers. So we can shade in multiples of 3 as well. Now we can shade in multiples of 5 and finally we can shade in multiples of 7. So again notice 91 even though it's not the answer to any of our times tables up to 12 times 12 it's still a composite not a prime number because 13 times 7 is 91. Now remember 1 is not a prime number because its only factor is itself. 1 is the only factor of 1. But the numbers we have left in white, the numbers that we haven't shaded, are all prime numbers because they're not in the 2, 3, 5 or 7 times tables. They're not multiples of 2, 3, 5 or 7. So now we need to identify each of the numbers below as prime or composite. Remember, to find out if a number is a prime number, we need to find out whether it's a multiple of 2, 3, 5 or 7. So if it's in the 2, 3, 5 or 7 times table, we know that it's a composite number, otherwise it's a prime number. So now we know that 171 divided by 2 will leave a remainder, because all numbers that are multiples of 2 end in 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 and 171 is an odd number. So if we divide it by 2 we get a remainder. So now let's try dividing 171 by the next prime number, so by 3. 
17 divided by 3 is 5 remainder 2 and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So because we don't get a remainder at the end, we know that 171 is not a prime number, it's a composite number because as well as being in the 1 times table and the 171 times table, we found out by dividing that it must also be in the 3 times table and the 57 times table. Now there's a quicker way to find out whether a number is a multiple of 3. What you can do is add the digits together, so here we could add 1 plus 7 plus 1 is 9, and then, because 9 is in the 3 times table, we know that this number will be in the 3 times table as well. So, rather than using short division to find out if a number is in the 3 times table, what you can do is add the digits together. And if adding the digits gives you a multiple of 3, then the number will be a multiple of 3 as well. So now, let's look at 911. We know that this number is an odd number, so will not be in the 2 times table. That will give us a remainder. Now, if we divide by 3, 9 plus 1 plus 1 is 11, and 11 is not in the 3 times table. So again, we know that if we divide it by 3, we'll get a remainder. The next prime number we need to try to divide by is 5. But remember, all multiples of 5 end in a 0 or a 5, so again we know that we're going to get a remainder. So finally, to see if 911 is a prime number, we need to divide it by 7. If we get a remainder for this number as well, we'll know that we have a prime number. 9 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 2, 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 1 divided by 7 is 0 remainder 1. So here we've divided 911 by the first four prime numbers. Because we've got a remainder for all of our answers, we know that 911 must be a prime number. Its only factors must be 1 and 911. Now we have 427. We know that it doesn't end in a 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, so it's not a multiple of 2. Now, if we try to divide it by 3, what we can do is add the digits together. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 7 is 13. 13 is not in the 3 times table, so we know that when we do the division, we're going to get a remainder. 427 is also not a multiple of 5, because all multiples of 5 end in a 5 or 0. So again, we know that doing the division will give us a remainder. So now, we just need to divide by 7. If we get a remainder, we know that again we'll have another prime number. Otherwise, if we don't get a remainder, we know that 427 must be a composite number. So, taking the first two digits together, 42 divided by 7 is 6, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So we don't get a remainder, which means we've found out that 427 is a composite number. It's not just in the 1 times table and the 427 times table, we've found out that it's also in the 7 times table and the 61 times table. It has more than two factors, so it's a composite number, not a prime number.